Hi guys, I'm back. And today I'm going to do a simple, kind of simple, hopefully, a um, little pour. It's going to be um, just like some oceany colors. And I got the idea off another channel. Her name is Kathy Odierno. So if you have a chance, go look her up. Her last name is spelled O-D-I-E-R-N-O. -E and uh, she, I got the idea from her, like I said. She, um, she puts white paint on the canvas and then she does like a, almost like a flip and drag. And then she blows with the straw on the edges. And they're really, really pretty. So <laughs> I'm going to try it. She uses a lot of like um, opposite colors and it, they turn out beautiful. I'm a little afraid to do that because when I mix my reds and oranges and yellows with my greens and blues, I tend to get a little muddy sometimes. So we're going to try with colors that all look pretty together and um, see what happens. Got my little pour cup here. It's just a medicine bottle because um, I don't really need a big, huge pour cup. So I've got no silicone in the white. I've already covered it in the wet white um, paint. I hate to do that on camera because I've watched some videos before where people are like spreading white across their canvases for like eight or nine minutes. And <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's just a little boring. And I don't want to miss anything you say. So I sit there and watch the whole eight minutes of pouring white over your canvas. But, you know, I know how to pour white over my canvas. So I'm, I feel pretty safe in skipping ahead. Um, these paints have a lot of air bubbles for some reason, especially that limey green color. I don't know why they have so many air bubbles today. I've, they've been sitting here for at least half an hour, 45 minutes, and still air bubbles are coming up. So there's probably going to be a lot of air bubbles in the paint. But who knows? Let's just get started. I'm going to start. I've got silicone in all my colors except white. I don't know if I said that. I think I did. But now you know for sure. There's only silicone in the colors. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the phthalo blue because it's my favorite and I love it. And then this beautiful green-yellow. And there's no order. I'm not doing these in any particular order. I'm just pouring them all in there. One on top of the other. I'm starting to wonder if this little medicine cup is big enough. I think it is though. I, I really think it is. Uh, I don't know if I want to put any white in there or not. I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. I probably don't need it. It's probably just going to sink anyway. Ooh, that was a lot of green. Did not mean for all that green to go in there. And I really don't want too much of that blue because I'm afraid that blue is going to kind of sit on top it, and kind of overwhelm. But we're going to be blowing the paint. Hopefully not everywhere. All right. I believe that is enough paint. I'm just going to flip it over and kind of pull it this way. And then I'll pick it up and kind of move it, I think. All right, so, woo, well, there we go. <laughs> well, I did not mean to drop it like that, but oh well, you know. I was going to put it on the corner over there, but I don't want to. <clears throat> All right, let's put that over there. That is definitely going to need some work. The colors are really pretty. So um, I want it to go off the off the pavement there. And I don't want too much paint left on my canvas there. Because then, you know, we all know what happens when we leave too much paint on our canvas. We uh it turns to cracks. Dry is cracked and it's just not pretty after that. <clears throat> and you you know, ruin a lot of pretty paints. Well, it's looking pretty so far. <coughs> Excuse me. All the air bubbles are popping. Let's see if we can bring up any cells. Well, I love the colors. If nothing else, I love the colors. I love the way that cell right there is going off into the white. Kind of hoping to get some more of that with with the straw, you know, with blowing the paint over. Okay, that looks kind of cool right there. 
I definitely have to get a new torch now because I accidentally resined this button, this little safety button down. I accidentally resined it open. So um, there's no safety measure on my little torch now. <laughs> so I definitely have to get a new one. Okay, so I've got three straws stuck together so I don't have to lean too far over and hopefully you won't see like the top of my head. I like the colors, the way they're blending like that. They look cool in the way they splatter out like that into the white. I love that. Like I said, it's my first time really to do this little technique. So I think I've got too much paint in there though. I didn't want that much. kind of cool though. Looks like some kind of weird sea creature. Or like a sea cucumber that's exploding. <laughs> Alright, let me turn that. That's pretty. I love these colors together. But this is too big of a chunk. I needed either a bigger canvas or way less paint. But you know, it's my first time. We'll see how it goes. That I don't want there. So. Easily fixable. I don't know where it came from though. Uh oh, I don't want too much green like that. It's like sitting underneath that light blue. I don't want to disturb too much of like the cell action here. So <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I can do to it. I mean, I think it's kind of done. Let's see which way. I kind of like it like that. I don't know. It's kind of neat. I mean, it's not. Obviously, it's definitely not like hers. I, th I think she probably had less, definitely less paint in there. So, probably going to have to do another one of these just with the leftover paint. I've got so much paint sitting here. I love the splattery look to it. It's just pretty. All right, let me take the torch to it one more time. Because I know we kind of blew some air bubbles into it as well. Make sure you torch your sides. I know I say that a lot, but a lot of people, you know, <laughs> I've watched some videos where people completely forget to torch their sides. And, you know, you're kind of missing out on an opportunity there for more cells. You want your, your sides to match your top if you're not going to frame these babies. All right. That's it. Let's get you down so y'all can see the close-up. Okay, close. I'm getting paint all, I've got paint on all my fingertips now. I'm getting paint all over my phone. You should see my phone case. It's, <laughs> it actually looks like I bought it that way. It's covered in so many different colors of spots of paint. Look at that little spot right there. Sorry for the reflection. I mean the uh, shadow. Let's see if I can get it kind of from the side. I'm just, I'm just dumping paint everywhere on my phone. That's kind of pretty right there. And that's pretty. I really like where it sort of flows out really fast and then it's got those long tendrils that kind of come out like that. So next one we're going to do way more white and less paint. Hopefully it will, um, you know, have a little more 
white negative space but this is definitely something I'm going to do again so thank you Kathy for the idea and uh, wow cool so y'all go try this because it was fun simple but fun um, and like I said you know mine's not nearly as pretty as hers are hers are gorgeous so go check her out and uh, let her know that I sent y'all over there beautiful okay that's where I'm gonna leave you for today so we can get a good shot of it there there we go and this canvas is just a little bitty canvas it's just an 8 by 8 8 inch by 8 inch so it's a pretty small canvas I'm thinking need to do some tiles like this yeah that's what I'm gonna do okay so look forward to seeing some tiles like this because that was fun all right there's your pretty for today I hope wherever you are on the planet you're happy and healthy and uh, you're having an awesome afternoon day evening or night see you later bye